Hey, Sun Seekers, Jeff from Sunny South Vacations again. Very excited to take you on a tour of the Ibero Star Catal here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Let's go. Okay, I've made my way down to the main pool. You can see the availability of tons of sun loungers, little day beds covered with palapas. See a few people have come down here relatively early to uh, nab their spot for the day, but not many. It's just about seven o'clock in the morning here. And I'll take a little bit of a walk around the pool here, trying not to uh, invade anyone's privacy, the people that have come down here early. Uh, but you can see this is an absolutely massive pool. You've got uh, jacuzzi here right in the middle. The Mexican restaurant just past that basketball hoop there. That also doubles as the beachside grill uh, from noon till 5 p.m. So if you're looking to grab a snack and stay close to the beach and the pool, you can do that. And you can see the rest of the pool coming into view here and the palapas that line that beautiful beach. And here's a closer look at one of the day beds that are available for rent. You can see it's a nice big bay, bay, day bed for two, maybe more if you want. This one happens to have direct pool access as well. So I pan up to take another look at the pool. Again, I'm a little bit closer to the beach now. You can see the ocean there coming into view. Lots of shade over those sun loungers and you've got a beach entry pool and I'll take one last pan around and you can see most of this big beautiful pool coming into view. I really like the variety of seating around the pool as well. You've got these little folding chairs under palapas. You've got your traditional sun loungers as well as the day beds. There's an absolutely beautiful sunrise here at the Ibero Star in Playa Car. This is the stunning beach area. I'm just uh, at the pool's edge here. But you can see palapas and sun loungers all the way down the one end. These are available to anyone to use on a first come first serve basis. Let's go take a closer look from the water's edge now. So now I have my toes in the sand. Take a look at a couple of the sun loungers there and as I pan up, you're going to see the beach volleyball net come into view. That stunning sunrise, that beautiful beach. Yes, there's a little bit of presence of seaweed, uh, but not nearly enough to impede myself, my wife, or anyone else from going in the ocean. Again, there's a presence, but certainly not overwhelming. This is just a snapshot of the beautiful beach here at the Ibero Star. It's a beach that stretches for miles. Those white Lounge chairs and umbrellas there are for Ibero Star Star Prestige guests. So if you're part of the membership program, you have access to that area. I pan around. You can see they've got a little morning yoga going on. There are two beach and poolside bars. If you're looking to stay, stay hydrated throughout the day, you can come down here, got a wonderful drink, cocktail, beer. Steps from the pool. And steps from the beach. Hey Sun Seekers, I've been here at the Ibero Star Catel for one full day and I want to give you my first impressions. So first impressions so far is big, beautiful open air lobby 
love it. Uh, it branches off to shops, restaurants, the theater, and right here we are in the lobby bar. Um, very clean, very well maintained. Uh, the staff here, everyone that I've encountered so far, phenomenal, very helpful. Um, want to make sure that you have everything that you need in order to have a spectacular vacation. The beach is great. There is a little bit of seaweed presence, but not enough to impact my desire to go out and swim. The pool is absolutely massive and a lot of fun. There's an adult's pool that gets a little bit more lively during the day. Um, and you can probably hear the waterfalls around us. This is immersed in nature. Uh, as you go walking through the middle of this resort, you will go through a jungle and you will encounter so many wonderful animals from the coatis, turtles, iguanas, howler monkeys, and peacocks. Uh, if you're looking to get one with nature, this is the resort for you. Absolutely love the resort so far and cannot wait to take you around the rest of the resort and share my final thoughts at the end of this video. I keep coming back to the main pool uh, one, because it is so large and it just seems like it's everywhere, but I also like to use it as a reference point. So in the distance beyond those palapas, you will find the ocean and the beach. But I did want to take a quick look at the adult only pool. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures of this space. I love how it kind of has that cenote feel to it. So to get into here, you are going to come down the stairs. You've got lots of seating in the water, that bar under the cave. This does become a very lively atmosphere. Um, probably as early as 11 o'clock. You got some little cubbies there for storage. Uh, they do have a speaker out here, so there is some music that will uh, keep the crowd energized throughout the day. And yes, there are multiple pools here. This is one of them. This is a more traditional style swimming pool rectangular shape this is probably your sport pool it is a little bit more in the shade as well this is right next to the large main pool as well lots of seating and again it provides shade for most of the day pan around and you can see my friend coming into view some more of the chairs and just to look at the proximity to the main pool so this secondary pool here is steps away from the main pool. And steps away from the main pool, you have this really awesome children's play area. You've got sun covered loungers, little splash park with slides. And as I pan over, you can see a dry play area as well. Some more sun loungers, a palop over there. And just taking a closer look at the dry area here in the children's play area. You got your traditional park structure, slides, sand, some climbers as well, and some swings for them to enjoy. This is an amazing little play space. Uh, you do need to supervise your children in here. This is not the kids club, although it is close. But this is just an outdoor play area that uh, your, kids, your kids can use and have fun with while on vacation here at the Ibero Star and play a car. Just inside the fenced area where the children's play area is, you have the Star Camp. So this is the entranceway to the kids club. They have spaces for the four to seven year olds as well as for the eight to 12 year olds. Let's come over here quickly, take a quick look at the rules and regulations for the kids club. Usually the big one is your kids must be potty trained. And you can see how close it is to the play area. So it is within that fenced off area. And I've just stepped into the star camp. This is the kids club here at the resort see the reception desk coming into view. This is where you'll check in your children. Got some cubbies, some tables, chairs, little stage, and of course some beanbag chairs and a little television. 
located right down by the pool and the beach. You have an ice cream hut, very popular in the afternoon. As I pan around, you've got the towel hut, the scuba diving building, and some sun loungers that will keep you protected from that hot Plido Carmen sun all day long. Hey sun seekers, I hope you've enjoyed the video tour so far of the amazing Iberostar Quetzal. We still have a lot to see, but if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, resort tours, cruise ships, beach bars, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. Let's go for the rest of the tour. There are a total of 10 buildings on the Quetzal side and the Toucan side. So 20 buildings in total. They are very Hacienda style, very authentic Mexican, lots of colors, very vibrant. Um, and I do want to note that they are very well appointed inside as well. Uh, sometimes people think that these colors mean that they are a little bit dated. They are not. This is a style of decorating, very common to Mexico, specifically in areas that are very ecological. Uh, and quite frankly, I love it. I, I love the vibrant colors. This is just a this is one of the neat little bridges that run through the jungle space that splits the two resorts. Waterfalls. I'm gonna come here and take a look at the beautiful waterfall. I do like to show off the grounds of these beautiful resorts when I can. I had a massage yesterday down in that hut and you can imagine that that waterfall provided a spectacular soundtrack for that massage. Okay, as you arrive to the lobby area of the beautiful Iberostar Catal, you see a beautiful garden out front. They've quieted down, but there are some exotic birds there as well. You're greeted by one of the concierge members who will bring you to the check-in desk. So we got the concierge just to the right there where some team members are chatting. And just past there, you've got the check-in, check-out desk and reception area. So if you are checking in, checking out, or need some assistance while you're here at the Iberostar Catal, this is where they will be able to provide that assistance. Big open air lobby, you can see some of the restaurants, including the buffet coming into view there on your right. And some of those exotic birds straight ahead with the shops in behind. This is the lobby bar area here. And steps away from the reception area, you have the lobby bar here at Iberostar Catal. This is also where you can get wonderful coffees in the morning, wine, cocktail, beers in the afternoon and into the evenings. And opposite side of the lobby from the check-in, check-out desk and reception area, you have some shops you're looking to make some purchases, maybe you forgot a hat, just want a new one, a new bathing suit, some jewelry, or maybe you forgot some sunscreen or you need some sundries just to make your vacation that much more enjoyable. They've got some shops here. In the lobby. Cozumel is the buffet on the Quetzal side of the resort. Let's take a look. I love as you walk into the buffet, they've got a churro station set up. You can customize one to your liking. And on the other side of the entryway, 
you have this beautiful fresh juice in Mimosa Station. Lots of seating. The staff here are diligently preparing for guests to arrive, setting up the tables. Lots of seating on this side as well. And we'll take a quick look at the inside. It's breakfast time as you can tell and there is a lovely spread of fresh fruit. And in the morning, why not pour yourself a glass of amazing fresh juice. And if you have a bit of a sweet tooth at breakfast, you've got all your freshly made pastries, donuts, cinnamon buns, muffins, croissant. Perhaps you're looking to stay on the healthier side. You've got this yogurt and fresh fruit bar here as well. Again, customized to your taste. This is always one of my favorite stops at the buffet during the breakfast hour. This is the fresh egg and omelet station. Looking forward to having a fried egg this morning. And of course you got all your sides as well. Fresh sandwiches as well. There is much more to this breakfast buffet than I can possibly show. It is open right now. I'm trying not to get in anyone's way as they're picking up their breakfast, but uh, big, large buffet, lots of different offerings. And just outside the main lobby on the Catal side of the resort, you have La Gondola. This is the Italian restaurant. So I've just stepped inside La Gondola, which is the Italian restaurant here at the Iberial Star Complex. Looks like an anti-pasty bar here. Lovely seating. Beautiful atmosphere and decor. Just love how they've integrated nature into every aspect of the resort, including the dining venues. This is La Gondola. La Hacienda is the Texas Smokehouse restaurant. This is located on the Quetzal side. Let's take a look. As you walk in, you notice lots of seating. For my regular viewers, you know I like to say tables for two, tables for four, and tables for more. Got a bar right within the restaurant as well. And a semi-open kitchen so you can watch as your meal is prepared. This is La Hacienda. This is open from six till 10 for dinner. And this is a Texas style barbecue. Mare Nostrum is the Mediterranean restaurant. It's located on the Toucan side, but it can be used by guests staying at Toucan and Quetzal. All of the restaurants are shared. So this is a beautiful restaurant. Setup's very similar to La Gondola, which is the Italian restaurant located on the Quetzal side. Different seating setups as well semi-open kitchen. Little antipasti bar as well. And see the decor is just a little bit different. A little bit more inspired by the Mediterranean Sea perhaps. This is Mare Nostrum. Bonsai is the Japanese and tapenyaki restaurant at the Iberostar complex. It is the only one that requires reservations. Everything else is first come, first serve. And I will say we have not had one issue getting into a restaurant in our three days here so far. So you walk in, you can appreciate 
the decor. And you can start to see the tapenaki tables, the koi pond just outside the window. I'm counting four tapenaki tables here. Just showcasing two of them right now. As I pan back around, you can see the entrance way. So I'm just gonna stay on this side just because there is a little bit more light coming in, but uh, there are two additional tables behind me. This is Bonsai. This is the Japanese tapenaki restaurant, and as noted, this is the only one that does require reservations. You can make those with the concierge. We had no issue. We are booked here tonight at 6.30 p.m. Please excuse my pronunciation here, but we have the Uxmal restaurant. This is the beachside uh, restaurant during the day. And into the evening time, this becomes the Mexican a la carte restaurant. Lovely chairs and seating set up throughout. You can see the food stations in the distance. Absolutely love the beautiful colors and decor in here. So this is an absolutely massive palapa. Had dinner here last night. It was a great atmosphere, amazing food. One of the best parts about coming to Mexico is the fresh guacamole and pica de gallo. Viva Mexico. Tequila station. It's also outdoor seating as well. Um, actually, you can tell that this is open air. And what I like that they've really done here is you can see the netting around this. So this keeps the birds and wildlife outside and still offers you stunning views you can see that outdoor seating coming into view i'll come take i'll go out there and take a closer look at that so if you'd really like to dine al fresco you can do that here at the uxmal restaurant open from 12 to 5 during the day and then 6 till 10 p.m for dinner You come on vacation, you're looking for rest and relaxation. Let's check out the spa here at the Iberostar Quetzal and Toucan. Reception area at the Sensation Spa. Just adjacent to the reception area at the spa, you have the room where they do pedicures, manicures, and I see curling irons, so perhaps you can get a little updo in here as well. But this is the Manny Petty room in the beauty bar at the spa. And I'm just stepping into one of the treatment rooms. You can see there is a shower stall at the back. Beautiful massage table. And that soft, calming music playing ever so quietly in the background. This is one of the two beachside massage huts. You can see that light breeze coming through and you could possibly hear the soundtrack of that ocean. Again, if you're looking to take rest and relaxation to the next level, why not book yourself a massage down at the ocean? I'm not gonna talk too much here because I want you to hear the sounds of peace and serenity. Yes, this is a couple's massage cabana here in the jungle, surrounded by nature, birds, waterfalls, and I like to show everything if I can. There is nobody in here. This is the men's change room. You can see the availability of lockers. I believe those are shower stalls. Those two are shower stalls. Last one was a toilet. 
and you've got a double vanity in the sink area. This is one of, this is the men's change room. How serene does this look? This is the hydrotherapy spa area. Wonderful pool, relaxing chairs, little fountains, very tranquil space. All right, one of the features within the hydrotherapy spa is the water pail shower. Let's take a look at this. How did that feel? Right. And right next to the water pail shower, you have the sensations shower. Looks like a rainwater shower head, handheld nozzle, and there's some controls there as well. There's some nozzles down below. My goodness. And what would the hydrotherapy area be without a sauna? I can feel that heat. I'm not sure if it's coming through the camera. Things are starting to get a little bit steamy. That's because I've just opened the door to the decongestant bath. If you are looking to stay active while on vacation here at the Iberostar complex in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, you've got the availability of two tennis courts and it looks like a small size soccer pitch in the distance. I love that they've got some shade palapas out here as well because it can get very hot and if you're out here competing in a pretty heated tennis match, you might need some sh uh, shade in between breaks. This is the sport court area here at the Iberostar. There is a nice size gym here at the resort as well. All of the cardio and weight training equipment that you would need. There's people working out right now, so I can't really show much, but certainly everything that you need. This is an absolutely massive theater here. So this is split between the Catal and the Toucan side of the resort. There's tons of available seating. You see that bar at the back. And I will pan around and you can see that they had the Viva Mexico show was on last night. Celebration of all things Mexico, including a mariachi band. This is the theater space. All right, hey there Sun Seekers, Jeff from Sunny South Vacations. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm really excited now to share with you some of the things that I really enjoyed at the resort, and maybe some things that weren't quite my favorite. I've got my wife, Andrea, here, and we're just gonna have a conversation about our experience at Ibero Star Toucan and Ibero Star Quetzal. Um, so the first thing that I noticed when we got here, and it's ironic we're doing this in the lobby, is the friendly staff. Super friendly, super attentive, uh, someone is always there looking to make your vacation that much more enjoyable. Um, really appreciated that and it was present from start to finish. I would agree. I would agree. My first observation, what I thought was really unique about this resort is, as you can maybe see from behind us, it's very authentic. It's very natural and it's something that we don't always experience. It's so vibrant. It's really neat. and Like I, our drinks. They're vibrant. I also, well, uh, if our daughter watches this video, she's not here, she's going to be very disappointed because there was a lot of animals. Oh, sunshine. Monkeys, uh, also flamingos, turtles, lizards. Cody's. Cody's. They were so cool. Like the Mexican raccoon. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's what I feel really like they cool. are. So but I they're really, super friendly. I really like the natural environment. It's very unique. Absolutely. And I will say while we're talking about ecology and ecological. Uh, sustainability is a very top priority here as well. Uh, it might not be something that everyone pays attention to, um, but uh, every time you come across a garbage can, it's garbage, it's recycling, it's compost. They even have a liquid disposal system as well. So um, they tout themselves as being very sustainable uh, and friendly to the ecology of the area. And uh, I'd say their money is where their mouth is. That was cool too. Another thing, I, I'm going to be honest. When we were getting, be when we were getting ready to come to this resort, we watched a video. 
I wasn't really sure what to expect. It's our first time we've been to an Ibero Star. It's the first time we've been here. Uh, and when we got here, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really actually like how it's authentic. Like, and I think it's all intentional. Like the decor is authentic Mexican. The yeah. colors of the building, it's authentic Mexican. But at the same time, everything is clean. The bedding, the pillows, it's fresh. No complaints. Yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. And, and the decor within the rooms is, is, is modern. Uh, or sorry, it's not modern. It is very authentic. authentic to Mexico. So when you come to Mexico, you want to feel like you're in Mexico. And you'll certainly feel that here at the resort. Uh, I want to talk about the beach. I get asked a lot as a travel advisor and a YouTuber about the beach. Yes, there was some seaweed present throughout the four days that we were here. I would say the first two days... Again, never enough to be bothersome. Yeah, we still but went in. Noticeable. Um, and on the last two days, in fact, the water became almost crystal clear. Like we could see we're our toes. A hundred meters out, you know, in probably waist deep water, and yeah, we could see our feet. It was clear. It was clear, and I mean, there's no guarantee as it relates to seaweed or no seaweed. Actually, um, that's a good point. So we should know that this we're here is April 2024. And apparently, the seaweed season is highest April, May, June is what we've learned. But it wasn't bad. Yeah, I, would, in. I wouldn't let that hold you back from this resort or any resort uh, in Mexico or the Caribbean. It is what it is. Some days could be great, other days not so much. But you know what? When it's not great to go out in the ocean, the resorts generally make up for it in spades, whether it's the pool, whether it's other activities to do. Don't let that hold you back. Um, the beach again was fantastic. I get asked a lot, was it rocky? Absolutely not. It was a beautiful, soft, sandy bottom. It was wonderful. The beach was big. I love the palapas. The palapas were great. I always like shade, so we definitely had the options of finding shade. Did sun. we get shade? It doesn't look like we got <laughs> shade. <laughs> we didn't bring enough sunscreen, so next time. We'll do yeah. better. Yeah, rookie mistake there. One Safely. last thing, if I, sorry to interrupt, but one last thing I wanted to highlight is, so I wanted to come for some rest and relaxation, okay. and I think we got it. So for me, there's op opportunities to do, I did yoga two days this morning, in the morning. Uh, so do yoga on the beach. It was a great way to wake up. It was awesome. I really loved it. And we also got to take advantage of the spa. Ooh, yes. So that was beautiful. So we got to select, we picked getting... You talk about the, the palapa, the cabana. Yeah, so we picked um, a couple's massage in the jungle. So the sounds of the, the water running through the, the creek and the sounds of the birds. Oh, it was so magical, uh, very relaxing. So I highly recommend. 100%, that was stellar. Uh, they do have cabanas set up on the beach. They have some set in the jungle. You've probably seen those in the video already if you've watched until this point. Or you can get a tradition, you can get the massage in the spa itself. But we felt like when we're here in the Mexican jungle, why it, it not treat. get the massage? Like was what was treat. the soundtrack of our massage? It was oh, incredible. It was it was great. And with any purchase of the spa, you get to use the hydrotherapy pools, which was also quite neat. Uh, quite lovely. There was a sauna. There was steam room. We used all of these, the, the, the showers, the jacuzzis. It was all really nice. 100%, really 100%. Now we haven't talked about the food and drink yet, but before I get there, I want to talk about the Wi-Fi. Oh, yes. If you're coming down here and you got to do a little bit of work, or maybe you just want to stay connected to everyone at home, Wi-Fi is important. And it was fantastic here. It didn't matter whether you were on the Toucan side or the Quetzal side or the in the lobby or in the beach or in the jungle or in your room. It was flawless. And let me yeah. tell you, I did have to do some work down here. That's the life of a travel advisor. We're always working, whether we're at home, whether we're in the office, if we have an office, or whether we're down in Mexico or Dominican or any other destination. We're always looking after our clients and the Wi-Fi was flawless. But let's talk about the food and drink. What is that that you got? So. When we arrived, we got the Blue Hawaiian. So Ooh. this is the first drink I had, and this is going to probably be one of the last drinks I have because we're flying home early tomorrow morning. Wah, wah, wah. But Blue Hawaiians are quite lovely. Excellent, and this is a rum punch. It's quite good. But let's talk about the food a little bit. The 
food. So I love Mexican food. I love Mexican culture. I love everything about Mexico. But no trip is complete for me without many guacamole. plates of guacamole. So I literally eat guacamole three times a day and I love it. So It was holy moly guacamole for the last four days. So I love the guacamole. We went to the Mexican restaurant twice. The tacos were great. The enchiladas were great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where else and did we go? We went to the Italian restaurant, which was fantastic. And we are going to the Japanese tapenyaki tonight. In fact, we got to head over there in about 20 minutes. So we got to wrap this up soon. But yeah, the food was fantastic. Uh, they don't have a reservation system here. And I know there's a lot of debate about reservations versus not reservations and what system is better. That's still up for debate, but I will tell you, the only restaurant, a la carte restaurant, that requires reservations here is Bonsai. It's the Japanese Tapanyaki. It's just over here on the Toucan side. It's the only one that re requires reservations. The rest of them do not. They operate first come, first serve. And the first night we went to the Mexican restaurant, probably right at 6 o'clock when it first opened, there was no lineup of people there. And then we went to the Italian the second night, probably around 7.30ish, no lineup. Back to Mexican last night, no lineup. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, so whatever they're doing is working really well. We spoke to the quality of food. Uh, the buffets, the buffets were fantastic. There's two main buffets and then one down by the beach, which is kind of like a quasi buffet. Uh, the food was fantastic. Always warm if it needed to be warm, always cold if it needed to be cold, whether it was a salad or fresh fruit. Uh, great variety. And I probably had one of my favorite omelets of mm. all vacations from the omelet bar today. That's true. So one last question. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Okay, so we talked about a lot of things that we liked about the resort. Let's get into some things that may not have been our favorite or things that they could tweak uh, to make this a much more enjoyable vacation. Um, for me... Not a lot though. Not, not a lot. lot. Honestly, we're sitting here in the lobby bar and it's fantastic. I know you can't see it, but perhaps you've seen it earlier in the video. They got a little stage set up in both lobby bar areas. They're very sophisticated. Uh, not stuffy, but I think the two lobby bars here would really benefit from live singers or live musicians. It doesn't need to be all night, but an hour here or an hour there, I would say would really take it over the top. For me, that was that's what I thought. Would you agree? Yes, I think that would be nice. nice. Okay. Do you want to know what I think? I know what you think, but tell them. All right, so my only minor thing that I'd like to enhance a little bit more is the coffee. The coffee, having access to coffee, I kind of found like I had to make sure I always had to go to the buffet to get a coffee, and the buffet doesn't open until seven. So if I'm up earlier before going to yoga, I couldn't get a coffee until seven o'clock and I had to go to the buffet. So that'd be my only tweak that I'd maybe dial up a little bit more. But no complaints. No. Pleasantly surprised. Had a great time. Had a fabulous time here at the Ibero Star, uh, Ibero Star Complex here in Playa del Carmen. Thank you for watching the video. If you're still here with us and you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and that bell notification. You'll be the first to see Sunny South Vacations content. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>